Hello everyone and welcome to another Digimon card game unboxing video. This time I'm going to be unboxing the Release Special Booster version 1, which is the English version of the first three booster boxes. So let's get started. Alright, so our box top of promo is Ty. I can't remember who I opened for the box topper for the last time I opened my booster box for the version one, but uh, I have Ty, and it looks very cute. I like, I like Ty. And oh, we should probably do our uh, other promotional one, where we can open the cards that have been in uh, the issues of V-Tamer. Let's see, no, just have I just said V-Tamer, I meant V-Jump. And we have Garurumon and Where Garurumon. I think that's actually who I opened in the last uh, last one, honestly. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe, oh, maybe. I know I definitely opened Agumon and Greymon at one point. Anyway, and enough of that weirdness. I will continue on with opening the uh, boosters. I just woke up, so I'm probably not the best conversationalist. But I will uh, give it a go, and I did not cut nearly as uh, well as I could have there. There we are, that one actually cut into the packet, which is good. And I guess I'll just continue to make everyone nervous as I open boosters. And I'll get that little bit of rubbish out of the way, and make myself some space. Alright, so Godramon, Oblivion Bird, Wergurumon. The Nova Blast, Fridgemon, Flare Lizarmon, Vilemon, Boltmon, Metal Edamon, Sirenmon, Wargoralmon, and Leopardmon is a pretty coloured card. Who would I be hoping for in this pack? Well, I would really, I would really like it if I opened Vidramon because I don't have the Vidramon from this set. Well, I, I bought the single on uh, the single one of it on uh, Rocket Ten Marketplace, but that hasn't arrived yet. And uh, but I only bought it because it was like uh, a few dollars, basically, which is actually kind of surprising. I thought it'd be more. It's definitely more on the uh, on like eBay or the any online card shop. Yes, there's my blue pile. Uh, there's a baby, which I'll put in the baby pile. I always make everyone so nervous when I open booster packs, the way that I open booster packs. I haven't cut a card yet though, so that's a good thing. Why are my cards slipping all over the place? Hey, Kakuamon! I love Kakuamon. Garurumon. I love this art. It's it's just so nice. It's uh, Gardramon being like nostalgic for being Hagurumon. I just really love the art in like a lot of these cards. And I also just, I don't know, I, I just really like this card game. It's really nice art, and though I think every card game has nice art. I, oh, I guess Magic the Gathering has some cards which have not so nice art. Like the older Magic the Gathering cards, like uh, Pestilence and cards like that, their art's kind of like, oh, okay, I can. It's 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 fine, kind of spooky, but like, yeah, it exists. That's really cool art. I like Chimeramon, Goblimon, and I also love Toyogamon. Look at him, just having a good time, living his best life. Oh, I can see that there's an exciting card at the back of this pack. How exciting for me, Togemon, and Millenniumon. After I just said how much I loved Chimeramon in that art. 
We have Millennium on. Cool. I, I love Millennium on. Where's Dead Sub Pile? I'm already regretting how I organized my uh, my piles of cards in this uh, in this unboxing. I'm already like, oh, I've, I could have done this better. The green cards are kind of on an angle because it's at the end of the, the light box. But what are you going to do? Monodramon! Chumon, that's... I love that art. It's like, it's terrifying. Ogumon, one of my favorite. Like, I, I know I mention this every time I open this card, but look at that art. It's adorable. I need to uh, work out where am I where am I going to put these cards because the binder that I put like the first three sets in is just full. Like it's exploding at the edges. Just about it is it is not having a good time. There's just too many cards in it because it's I put my unboxings for the first three booster sets obviously and then when the English set of version 1 and version 1.5 came out I continued to use the exact same binder and I just put them the cards that I opened on top of their Japanese counterparts unless you know it was an alt art and then I moved that into a different folder but uh, yeah so I'm probably going to have to buy a separate folder for my English cards because I'm just kind of running out of space. Oh, I put... <laughs> already realising that I'm messing up the piles. Hey, pumpkin, pumpkin mon. Is that attack not Hornblaster? Has it been called Hornbuster before in English? I don't think so. I know I mentioned this a bit in my version 1.5 uh, opening, but Des uh, Desperado Blaster being Death Parade Blaster is just hilarious to me. Like, I know that it has been called De Death Parade Blaster in video games, but it, it's it's still weird that it's hey Metal Greymon. Not the old heart one, unfortunately, but the same. So, but I, it's it's just the same as I opened last time, which is fine. I I do like Metal Greymon, but I really wanted the old heart for Metal Greymon. But I opened Metal Greymon the last time, and unless I'm misremembering, I opened Vedramon. But I'm really hoping for Vedramon, but I think that you only get one secret per box. But I might be misremembering. Remembering? That's a word. Misremembering. I wonder if I'm going to be able to get through this recording without my phone saying it's too hot. Because it hasn't yet. But it, if it does, if it will, it'll say it in a few minutes. Because it usually does at about the uh, 10 minute mark. I love that art of Veomon doing a spiral twister. Hey, baby. Oh, that's right. It's Baby Domon. Baby Domon. Even though it's Baby Demon. But never mind. Yeah, that's a weird thing. They've uh, kind of taken their own liberty of. Uh, naming the Digimon and the cards in this like we have things like as I said Death Parade Blaster but then on the other hand we've got Kirpimon being Trubimon again which yeah <laughs> Trubimon was called Trubimon in the English dub of Frontier but Kirpimon in like and lots of different material uh like the the digivice had it been kirpimon and it was called kirpimon in a lot of video games as well so it like i was kind of surprised to see that kirpimon is just trubimon again like you know it's actual name and um, in the same way that we have creepymon instead of demon which is really weird to me like we had Demon being Demon in the anime, and then all of a sudden we were like, actually, no, that, that's that's too much. Let, let's call him Creepymon, which is really weird. So uh, Baby Domon is just extremely weird to me. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure we've already had him be called Baby Demon in English material anyway. It's the same thing with uh, Algomon being called Argomon, as we learnt in the 1.5 unboxing. 
and but I don't I don't think Algamon has ever actually appeared in anything that had an English release, so I guess that makes sense that it's just a weird translation issue. Like it, just, I don't know why they would just change it to Algamon. Yep. I think there was another weird translation that was in the card this card game as well. It was kind of like. Why, why would you do that? But all I can think of is uh, Death Parade Blaster, which I first heard that in, uh, in Cyber Sleuth, so that's, it, it wasn't a surprise, but it's still like, oh, that, that's a bit weird. Probably never not be weird that it's called Death, uh, Death Parade Blaster, which is kind of like, don't get me wrong, a fairly baller name. Like, oh, I put that in the wrong pile. Death Parade Blaster sounds kind of cool, but, you know, Desperado Blaster is still also cool. And I can see Rosemon at the back of this pack. Sorry for the spoilers. There we are. Love Rosemon. I love the fact you get two rares in the English release. I hope they continue that for the other booster boxes and it's not just a special thing because the first two boxes of like the version 1 and version 1.5 are basically just playing catch up to the Japanese release. I love that art for Tyranomon. I mean, I, I could just, like, I could say I love that art for literally every card in this set, just about. Well, in, in every set, rather. I just, I really like it. Yeah, I'm going to just think about, like, yeah, these are a lot of cards. I'm going to uh, definitely have issue putting these back in that same, um, same binder that I have all the others in. Like, I should just buy another Ultra Pro binder just for the English release. I think we've now completed the one to boost to one to three in uh, in the English release. I'm fairly certain with uh, 1.5, so there shouldn't be too many holes that I have. And I think the English cards are selling cheaper than the Japanese ones, unless I look on Rakuten and the Japanese cards are actually a lot cheaper than they are in other resellers. But I guess that's always the case for. Uh, the sellers from an individual other than you know just from a person on ebay or an actual card game place i really want the secret vidramon please can't remember what else i'm missing not much else i think Well, definitely nothing from the first set except for uh, the, v the Vidramon one, but from the other sets, I think I'm missing the secrets. But that's an attack. I love I love Metal Tyranimon. I love that art. But yeah. So the. Uh, since the next uh, versions, versions no, uh, the next sets of boosters are uh, up for pre-order on EB Games. So I'm kind of like, do I want to continue with the English set and the Japanese set, or just get English, or just get Japanese? Because yeah, the cards are more or less the same. I guess you know, if I do decide to play it with people, like in person, and I don't, I like, I don't know anyone who can read Japanese. So they might not want someone playing with Japanese cards. Also, again, I swear these these cards feel different than the Japanese ones. Is that a is that a, an alt art? That looks. I think they're called parallel cards in this in the Digimon card game. But that is yeah, that is definitely a, an an alt art. I will put that separately because I put my alt arts away. Where'd I put you? Uh, where'd I put? The, oh, there, there we are. I put them behind me, the uh, promo ones and the parallel box topper Tai Chi. Also, what I noticed is the box toppers aren't as uh, in the English versions aren't 
as shiny as the Japanese versions. They look different. I was comparing my Vidramon, not Vidramon, I've got Vidramon on the brain. Um, I was, oh, that's in the wrong pile. I was comparing my Airdramon. Can't believe I forgot that Digimon's name for like a hot second there. Uh, that's also the wrong pile. I'm terrible this morning. Anyway, yeah, so I was comparing my Airdramon from the Japanese release to the English release of the the box topper ones and I just noticed that they just look different like the English ones don't look as impressive and shiny which is a shame kind of like I don't know I just the, like if you just showed me the box topper of the English one I might not even think that it's a promo or that it's a, a foil at all I would just say oh that's just a card and when, when you compare it with the one from the actual booster set you can kind of see, okay, it's got a li like the design's a little bit different, but in terms of how like shiny it is as a foil, it's actually not that um, that not it's not that obvious. That's just me. But yeah, these cards definitely feel different. Like the English ones definitely just feel. Uh, it's hard to put a. It's hard to describe it. It's like they feel. I think I'm, maybe I did subscribe in the last video, but I feel like it, they're more plasticky. Like, they're still very much cardboard, but they feel, like, shinier. Like, you run your finger along them, they don't feel like card. They feel like, uh, like you're running your finger along, like, plastic like this. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Vegemon, he looks very happy with himself there. Smashed potatoes. Love Jargamon. And Omnimon. Oh, and I just hit my tripod. And I don't think my phone has warned me about it being too warm yet. So that's something to celebrate. my last day at uh, my job today I am starting a new job on Monday so that's exciting sort of it's kind of like this is my first job that I got out of university so it's kind of like I've been at this job since I graduated oh that's lovely tapium on there um, uh, I've been at this job since I graduated u university which was six years well over six years ago now and I've been at this company ever since. So it's kind of like, I'm leaving my baby job, my first job. I started this job when I was in my early 20s and now I'm in my late 20s. Like it's just, uh, I feel so old. But at the same time, I feel so young in that position. Like everyone I think still sees me as uh, the young person on staff. And now I'm leaving. So I'm having like a good part that they, they're holding me a goodbye party today, so that's nice. Whoop, they just flipped over that card. Don't know how I managed to, managed to do that, but I did. Where does slash Angelmon go? Is that the Alpha Chimeramon? I swear it looks different. Like I swear that there was I swear I just really remember this card looking different. I don't know why. And we have all Greymon. And there's my red pile. Oh, I've got only a few more boosters left. I do not like the uh, the size of these booster packs, mainly because I have to actually try not to cut the card. I still haven't cut any cards yet, as I mentioned in every episode. Oop, that's in the wrong pile, I think. My piles are kind of merging, which I guess is is my problem for later. Future Maze problem. Tiger!
Uh, my piles are definitely merging and falling over into each other. I'm so distracted by that chimera mon, she's looking at me in the face, looking different than I remember. Like, I, well, I know chimera, like, the Digimon itself looks the same as I remember, but the art just looks different for some reason. Maybe I'm just thinking about another chimera mon. And I've completely just lost my piles because I started putting yellow cards on top of the black pile for some reason. Ah, oh, my Fitbit tells me it's time to wake up. It's okay, Fitbit. I'm awake. Sort of. <laughs> what is the definition of awake, anyway? I'm I'm here. And there's Paimon. Yay. And two more boosters. I know I'm getting old because whenever I move, every bone in my body cracks. Like, if I move to get up, like, I'm finding myself groaning as I stand up, which is the biggest dad move of all time. I don't even have children yet, and I'm just like, oh, I'm getting up. Oh! Like, what is with dads end whenever they stand up groaning like they're in immense pain? I always wondered that, and now that I am getting older as time goes by, is tends to be what happens, is that I'm just kind of, like, understanding that, like, oh... Now I understand. And that's how I know that I'm getting old. Because I'm doing the the dad groan as I stand up. Or sit down sometimes. Like, oh, it, it being, being upright and conscious hurts so much. I'm not going to have fun sorting these later. Especially because I don't fit in the binder. I should probably just buy a binder today and just get it, like, express shipped to me. So I don't have to have piles of cards away. Or I'll just put them away and then re-sort them. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for that box. That's all done. So thanks for watching and... So come on, hanging up right. And thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye! Bye.